the dangerous link between blood pressure and blood sugar. In this video, you're gonna learn a whole lot. There are three dangerous links between high blood pressure and high blood sugar. They're often thought of as two separate problems. And for some people, they're lucky enough to only have one or the other, if you call that lucky. Blood pressure is the amount of essentially pressure inside your arteries. So, th so think of your arteries as like a fire hose. And if there's a tremendous amount of water going through there or the, the hose gets really old and stiff, there becomes a lot of pressure when you try to push too much water through it. That's how blood going through our arteries is. And the higher the pressure, the more risk there is for heart attacks and strokes and all sorts of problems. Now, blood sugar is entirely different. Blood sugar is a problem with our pancreas and our pancreas cannot keep up with the amount of food intake that we do, or in some cases there's a genetic link. Uh, there's two types of diabetes, type one and type two, but essentially in this video, most people are probably suffering with type two diabetes, which is a problem because we've probably eaten way too much crappy food in our life and our pancreas just cannot keep up with metabolizing sugar and then our body cells can't absorb the sugar, utilize the sugar, and so the sugar becomes too high in our bloodstream. So if there's too much sugar, a good way to think about it is think of sugars like little tiny razor blades in our arteries. And as they go through the arteries, they damage the inner wall of the arteries. And then our body tries to repair that by essentially healing and forming scar tissue and plaques. And those plaques then make the artery stiffer and there's your high blood pressure. That's how they're related. So the number one most dangerous link is this. Blood vessels lose their ability to stretch. Like I said, think of sugar as little tiny razor blades cutting little areas of the arteries and the body tries to heal it by forming plaques and scar tissue. The artery becomes less pliable and less flexible. And then when the blood glows, goes through too much pressure, there's your high blood pressure. In addition to that, when there's too much glucose and it damages the blood vessels, the blood vessels can produce less nitric oxide. And by having less nitric oxide, doesn't dilate the blood vessels as much. The second most dangerous link is this. If you have diabetes and it damages the kidneys, then you're gonna start to accumulate fluid in your body. It's the kidneys that are the major organ that control how much extracellular fluid there is. And if there's more extracellular fluid, that is what increases the blood pressure. If the kidneys are damaged, they just can't function. And if there's too much fluid, think of now that fire hose, more and more fluid trying to go through that fire hose that's getting older and older and stiffer and stiffer. The third and final most dangerous link between high blood pressure and high blood sugar is this. Insulin resistance essentially increases inflammation in our body. The same diet that will cause diabetes is essentially the same diet that will cause high blood pressure. They both have the same ultimate cause. So that's why in the beginning of the video, I said, if someone's lucky enough to have one and not the other, usually that's a genetic component or simply a matter of time. It's called the not yet disease. When you say, well, I have high blood pressure, but I don't have diabetes. Yeah, that's called not yet. You don't have diabetes yet. So what is your situation? I'm curious to know what my followers on my YouTube channel have. Do you only have high blood pressure or do you have type two diabetes in addition to high blood pressure? I'm curious as to what your experience has been and what you're doing to manage it. Let me know in the comments section because I do read the comments and I use these comments as ideas for future videos. And I will answer some questions. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section down below. Now here's the important part, and I want you to listen carefully, is if you have both, then you need to take it seriously. It's very common to have people just start taking medications for things and not question whether there are, are alternative ways to deal with it. So in one of these boxes down here below, I'm gonna put some information on what you can do if you have both 
diabetes, and high blood pressure.